What's up, carnivores? Zach here with American Smoke, here to share what could be very possibly be my ultimate glass cleaning video, potentially the last glass cleaning video that I ever make, hopefully to God. Through great recommendations of my carnivoristic brethren and sisters out in the YouTube world and in the internets, I've been recommended this stuff right here. It's called Awesome. Hopefully it's named appropriately. It's priced appropriately. I got this over there at the Dollar Tree down there and all. For a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five, something like that. All I know is there's a bunch of it in there. If it works even kind of good, it's a winner, okay? And what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be combining that with my uh, Q Swiper Scrubber. Any sort of abrasive will do. It has a scraper. A lot of people say, Zach, I just use a razor scraper. Well, guess what? This thing's got a scraper built onto it. It's got a scrubber built onto it. We got cheap cleaner that apparently works very well. And so we're gonna be combining these two to create Zach's ultimate glass cleaning combo. Hopefully the last thing you'll ever need. You're looking at about 12 bucks. You're looking at about a dollar for $15. This should keep my glass clean for like, I don't know, two years or something like that. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's get in there, give it a shot, see how it does. So as you can see, we are dealing with the black abyss. I would love to say that I intentionally did this just so that I could make this video for you wonderful people out there in the internet worlds. But unfortunately, I'm also very irresponsible and do not keep up with my cleaning the way that I should. Hopefully I'm not the only one. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you clean your pit? I had somebody let me know the other day. They said, I clean my pit every two to three cooks. Not the glass, not the grease drip tray, the whole thing. They clean the walls and everything. I'm like, man. Good for you, you know, whatever. We are dealing with a very grimy, gritty, sissiation. We're not gonna heat it up or anything like that. If you want a little extra bit of an edge when cleaning the inside of your pit or cleaning your glass for your next cook, uh, run it for a few minutes and warm it up. But we're going straight on with the awesome and then we're gonna give it a scrub after a few minutes of soak and we'll see how it do. Let's get it. Since this stuff's cheap, I will be soaking it thoroughly. Let's rotate it over here where we don't get too much in our chamber. What's this flavor on these ribs? Tastes awesome. <laughs> it kind of is awesome, ain't it? <laughs> right now we're getting some pretty good breakup. If I have to say so myself, man. Get all that, get all that, all of that off of there. So I've used like four pennies worth of this cleaner so far. Maybe five pennies, which in some parts of the world they call a nickel. And yes, I'm making a very big mess on the ground, but I don't care. I can wipe that up with the same towel I'm gonna use to wipe. So is this gonna be a no touch cleaning? Is that what we're looking at here? And I just keep spraying this cheap cleaner that I can go spend a dollar and get another bottle of if I use all of it. Is that what's gonna happen right now? And this, is that what's happening? Oh God, I think that's what's happening. Check it out, guys, check it out. This is a dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree. I think you can get it at Dollar General and Walmart and everything too. I don't know what their price is, but this is coming clean and I have not, I've yet to touch it. <laughs> it's got a little bit of Asian orange in it. I'll tell you that, it's kind of just got me. But yeah, we got a no touch clean here, guys. No touch. No touch clean. Now at the bottom down there, it looks like the stuff that sucked up that uh, T-Rex at the end of Land Before Time. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they, they finally got that T-Rex down in there. <laughs> got rid of him. Well, it may have been, that that might have been awesome. I know they thought it was awesome. <laughs> I know one thing, this cleaner right here, it is what people say it is. It is awesome. And uh, it has done the job. And so, no soak time. I mean, this is all, this is live, ladies and gentlemen. This is live. But uh, as far as live goes, 
live action. The glass is clean. I have not touched it. Typically, when I'm cleaning my glass, there is a lot of stuck on stuff around the bottom that doesn't come clean. And uh, that's where the uh, abrasive pad and the scraper comes in handy most of the time. Uh, I'm just gonna give that just a quick little once over right there. Scrape it in case I need a little help with anything. But it, it looks like pretty much everything is up. That's awesome. I mean, I, I hate to keep saying that, and I did not even mean that, you know, on purpose. I say it's awesome, and the product is awesome, uh, and it's named awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tongue tied. I'm getting tongue tied. So that's, uh, you know, that's that. But all I got to do is just to get the chemicals off. Oh my gosh, that water is so hot. Holy guacamole. Probably should have ran a little bit of cool water in there with that hot water. We got one of them hot water heaters that'll boil chicken right out of the faucet. Look at the steam coming off that thing. Dear God. Ooh, goodbye flesh. Oh, goodbye flesh. Oh, oh, crap. All right. Y'all can make fun of me in the comments. I don't care. I don't care. But that, that was easy. That was super easy. I didn't even have to do this. I do not want my food to taste like this stuff smells, so I'm gonna, you know, hit it up with a little bit of the, the awa. But I mean, came just right on, daggone clean. And yeah, that was with some stinking build up. I mean, some build up. For anybody that's curious, what's the best way to clean the glass? I've done, good Lord. I'm gonna look like Skeletor after this and y'all don't even care y'all don't even care all y'all want to know is how to clean the glass on your smoker and i'm going to be over here looking like skeletor and y'all don't even care you don't care i know you don't comment below if you don't care i don't want to know if you do care it's not that kind of channel oh there we go man that is just i hate to say it again but awesome <laughs> If this was like a 20 cook build up, you know, this is more like a five cook build up. If this is a 20 cook build up between the awesome spray and this Q swiper pad with the scraper. I mean, we're talking no problem at all. I hope that I have answered a question for you in this video. I can't see me ever using anything else than the cleaner that cost $1.25 for the big bottle. And uh, maybe this scraper, which I didn't even really need, but it was good to have. I think it, you know, helped out on the bottom just a little bit. Guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Comment down below if you have a better method. I might try it if it's better than this, but I don't, I don't think, I don't think that you do. I don't think that you do. But let me know if you do. I'll try it. Thanks so much for watching. Smoke on. Come over to American Smoke Carnivores on Facebook. I'll see y'all in there. And I'll see y'all in the next video.